Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Oz's fish room. Today I just wanted to go over my planted tank. It is a serious work in progress. I'm learning so much from my first or second planted tank. This is my first tank though where I'm actually using dirt. Um, uh, Miracle Grow is the actual substrate with a carob seed gold uh, one and a half inch or so cap of this golden sand. And um, I'm using a Aquatech mini regulator for the CO2. As you can see, there's plenty of bubbles and there's a lot of nice purling going on here. Um, plants are growing extremely well. A little Anubius. Hardly belongs in here, but um, it's still growing. Um, here's my Otalia Indica. My Amazon Sword. Um, it's gotten a lot of abuse, so it's not really thriving and as lush green as I'd like it to, but I'd say it's kind of in the rebound mode right now. And then I've got some Jungle Val going here. It's got some nice purling going on. and I've got a bunch of uh, Dwarf Sag down here, but I'm going to be replacing it pretty soon with, um, I don't know, some type of uh, other type of grass uh, or something that looks similar to Dwarf Sag. I'm not really sure yet. I'm still doing a lot of water changes to get rid of the, uh, the murkiness in the water. It's kind of clear today. I did a water change yesterday, so um, it should be clear like this probably for a few days. And um, my rummy heads are happy. They're cruising around. Beautiful fish. Really like them. And then I've got my my cherry barbs. I've got there's a male back there, female. Females are larger, lighter color. There's another male cherry bar right here. And there's another female underneath there. Um, it looks like you may have some pairing here with the uh, cherry barbs. I at one point had like over 10 male cherry barbs, but um, it was really kind of horrible. What happened is um, this uh, little pump right here uh, was a power head. I decided I would just use a little tiny pump. It's like a hundred gallons per hour. But um, they, they just were really attracted to the power head. Um, really curious about the noise. So they just started kamikazing turned into kamikaze pilots and then you know they'd get stuck in the impeller and I'd have to take the power head out and you know the dead fish and so I did the same thing over here actually in my one of my other tanks I just I got a, uh, a 210 gallon per hour pump and just a little exhaust to create current so I guess I won't be really using power heads anymore just because some of the fish I like tend to meet their maker whenever I use a power head. And these work just fine and they're actually they're cheaper and they take up less room. I'm using this exhaust pipe right now. I don't need to, but I just want to. It really gets the CO2 um, a little kick. I've got my reactor, my mix max below here shooting out the CO2. Um, let me show you what that looks like. So I've got basically a 
paint, gun, CO2, 24 ounce bottle right here. And then I've got another one that I fill up so that I've always got plenty. And then I've got a little, you see the regulator here, that's the Aquatec mini regulator and then a little. I just decided, heck, I'm going to get a metal bubble counter. So, um, got my bubble counter here going, um, but um, uh, CO2 is off right now, so it's not showing any bubbles, but this thing works great. And then I've got my Marineland lights above, one's a 36 and one's a 48 inch. These things are getting the job done. They're pretty cool. And then I'm using Lexon right now as my lid. Just a plastic, but it's cool because I can make custom cuts with it. I can make it as large or as small as I want. And then I've got this Fluval uh, C4. I'm running a bunch of these all over the place and my different tanks. So, um, anyway, um, that's kind of like my go to filter right now but um, I just wanted to go over my planet tank right now and um, yeah that's it for now thanks for tuning in and um, until next time all right bye